All right, what's up everybody? So, this is a, one of my first YouTubes in a long time. I've been very busy with life. Anyways, I have my close, close, close friend of mine, Arturo. He is here from Spain. He is the inventor of the glue builder. And I just wanted to share something with you guys. When you're choosing a teacher to learn from, you would rather learn from a philosopher than a dictator. And in my professional opinion, Arturo is like the Socrates when it comes to glue training, pretty much because he doesn't tell you this is the right way, this is the wrong way, this is this way. He's more open to different ideas, different perspectives, different professions, different execution styles, things that he doesn't special, specialize in which is amazing because he wants to learn or master each different you know, part of exercise that could probably and will help him out with better understanding his niche of training. And that's the type of teacher that I would recommend learning from because that's what I do when I try to learn from the best that I like to reach out to, which are the teachers that I've chosen over my 15, 20 plus years of personal training. So he's gonna help me run a glute workout with one of my clients, Olivia. So he's gonna train her as I watch and learn at the same time and apply my perspective on things. So it's gonna be like a tag team match against Olivia. So good luck, Olivia. <laughs> but she made me cookies and it tastes really fucking good. <laughs> so again, I'm, I'm letting another trainer train my client so I can learn from that trainer because the stuff that he knows are things that I don't know and I'm not gonna assume that I know everything because you don't know everything. So he's gonna apply different tactics, different techniques, and I'm gonna apply my own little twists on things as well because we're always learning. Oh, this is so good. All right, peace. This is Arturo. He's the inventor of the glue builder, the machine that you see me training all my clients with huge, crazy sized glutes and Laura Lee using all the time over here at Iron University. Uh, I've known him for how long? Five years, maybe. Five years. We've done two seminars so far. Yeah. And he's here for our second seminar we just completed. It was a success. Thank you everybody for coming. It was amazing because a lot of things have changed over the past couple of years. More resources of knowledge and everything else like that. So just want to introduce you to him. And like I said previously, if you're a trainer or whatever career or you know passion you have, when you're choosing a teacher, you want to choose more of a philosopher than a dictator. You want to learn from someone that's open-minded, that teaches himself every day and that learns and expands his train of thought, his knowledge, and just reaches out to different aspects and perspectives of other people like him at the top. So then when you continue to learn from him, he's continuing to teach you newer things as he's learning as that time goes on instead of no, that's yes, that's no, that's not it, no, 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 no. And that person's gonna keep you in the past. You want someone that's gonna teach you as they learn. So just wanted to let you guys know who my teacher is when it comes to glute training and how he continues educating himself opposed to a lot of other, you know, teachers or coaches out there, you know. He actually applies and looks and like learns from other people, even people that are his students. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Go fucking figure. So he's gonna take Olivia through a workout and it's pretty much like my session at the same time. This is Olivia. <laughs> so I asked him, can you train my client so I could learn? So it's like my session, but also her session. So I could learn. As you can see, I'm learning from him. So just wanna give a little bit of uh, advice to other trainers out there. Choose your teachers wisely. Choose your teachers wisely. Peace. <laughs> Here, so you are not letting it go, 
Don't nudge at it though. Step up, food comes out. Find that last. I want you to go there every rep, gradually, smoothly, because it's a combination of many things working together synergistically. Yes. She's like a choreography yeah. of like a dance. What we're doing is very much what is going on. Ask the end. Go, 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 go. Yes. If you don't get to that point, you cannot get this fully shortened. Right. If it's your reps, it's the same quality. You don't hurry up. Get to that point, walk through your glutes. Getting them, yes, exactly. Same like before, identify full range and then smash your glutes against that local position. Beautiful transition from the eccentric into concentric. Give me two more, only two more with the same transition smoothly at the bottom. <coughs> Gradually, oh, smash the glute. Yes, last one. Get the last one. As you look hard, you're gonna hold for five seconds. Do not drop anything. You need to keep smashing your glutes. Don't rush it. that wall for five seconds. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, beautiful. This is really, really nice. She has a good teacher. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, you see how you're like teaching her? But these that set, it's still considered a set. It's an educational set merged into a warm-up set, and then once she like that five second thing turns into a working set. So yeah. it's yeah. like a three yeah. in one yeah. Yeah. because it's still Absolutely. proper execution. Absolutely. And then this set is gonna be a working set. Working set.
the weight is 30 pounds no. inside. <laughs> That's crazy. And that hurts like more than just like throwing it up. Oh. Now you can put 300 pounds yeah, on the bars. Yeah. I mean, you still do it if you got the street. And then do things like this. Like. Right, exactly. So you're just moving the like, spine, you're doing moving the, the pelvis, extension. and pushing the bar away from the optimal loading point. Yeah. And you get the And not tiny things. Yeah. Yes. One hand is pressing, the other is pulling. So RDLing. Let's go back to the front. RDL. Go back to the left hand. Slowly shorten. Good control, gradual contraction. There. Keep your core engaged. You then define that full range of motion. Like the bigger, but. Like this, like this. So, Shifting the load backwards by your hips, you're not coming down. So then it's not. Ooh. Yes. It's so it's like. Because so it's your. It, if there is a sort of a disalignment, and what we are doing is doing this. You're doing this. That's that shit. Yeah. But we are not going in yeah, no. that direction. We are we're shifting backwards. So most of the torque goes into the hips, not, not the into knee. the knee. Because the high torque on the knee the would be. Will fucking destroy. That's what it is. We are leg, define the range of motion, internally exactly the same movement pattern, same intentionality, which is pressing the ground to contract your glutes. That's beautiful. Same torso position, stay tight, rib cage. Yes. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ, bro. Okay, let's go. Sit on it. Ah. Go lower, go lower. Stay there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I'm gonna give you a full minute, a minute and a half of this. Oh. Self, not to grab yourself, to press yourself. No. To release some weight off the seat. Okay. So as you, as, as, as you have that, at the same time, what you're gonna do is hip extension and a slightly posterior pelvic tilt. Interesting. So by the time you get to the end of the abduction, you are blocking the hips. They're not gonna be fully extended. But you wanna do this and drive it forward. Cool. Once you are locked, you can find that lock position where you can try your glutes against. And from there, you slide your butt back. You're leaning forward, you're sticking your butt up, so you are accurately tilting, and from there, start abducting, and then change. You see my body coming up because I'm extending this way. We roll gradually back. It's a combo of abducting while you go back and forward. Okay. Gradually. Tight. 